down on my bottom and it doesn't even hurt I'm gonna find a house plant gonna eat some dirt I'm gonna run around all over this house I'm gonna find an old dusty thing put it in my mouth I am baby I am trouble and I can walk I know everything to do to make the dog it jump I know everything to pull to make So when the elevator doesn't fit the five-seater stroller, you get four walkers, two riders, and a whole lot of chaos. <laughs> Did you find a sit chair, Felicity? Oh, geez, we're definitely getting bass today. Definitely bass after this one. You guys are everywhere. Mommy's germaphobe ways are like screaming at me. No, that one's not okay. Not okay, chair. Do you see outside? No. That one's a good one, Felicity. It was a pretty Delilah. Hi, Aurora. There's beautiful Briellas. So getting lots of cuddles, which I love, but I just wish it wasn't because she wasn't up to par like normal. So I wish it was just she just wanted to cuddle. But we tried, yeah, they fit the stroller in the elevator and it just wouldn't work at all. No matter which direction we turned it, it wasn't helping. So luckily I had my double in the car and we just went from there. <laughs> Eli, are you stuck? Oh, don't be sad. Help. No, you sit there, you're fine. He's a big girl. So, great news. We um, are back in the car and we just got done with uh, Briella's um, orthopedic appointment. And that was really good that we went because they did some new x-rays and different positions and compared both sides with x-rays and did a whole bunch of tests and other things only to realize that she doesn't have anything in her shoulder or her elbow or any bones in between or her wrist or anything. Um, so it was just a little minor little toddler slip off off of a step. So she's fine and got a little bruising but that'll go away with the time and we're thankful for that. It was uh, interesting today though because there, I've only come across two elevators before that their quintuplet stroller would not fit in. And today was number three. Lucky me. So after a night of no sleep and everything else, this uh, was definitely not what was fun. But we uh, made it work. So I had them and I unloaded them I took them back out to the car after I realized that the stroller was not working because it was starting to break in the front when I was trying to do that so all the way out back out to the van which we had to park a little ways away because of the van not fitting anywhere so we do that and um, the next thing I know I'm like okay what do I do luckily I had the double stroller in the car because Briella and Gideon rode in that earlier at um, speech therapy today so we went and I put Eli and Gideon in that one and then after that I had the girls hold hands. Let's just say it took us an extremely long time like 20 minutes to get up to the second floor <laughs> um, just with them walking up but we made it. Then they were of course tearing up the place because they weren't contained at all and it was a whole new adventure so mom's OCD like keep everyone clean factor it went out the window today and I was just done and they were having a blast so I guess that's all that matters but they're definitely when we get home getting a really good bath so you hear them back there they're excited they uh, took a little nap on the way and like I said now we're just sitting out front of Connor's school just waiting for uh, him to get dismissed um, in a little bit here but there was no point in me going home to unload these crazy little ones only to reload them like and not that long after. 
Burberry, you got no boo boos. Yay, Burberry. Oh, well, at least I'm happy about it. Burberry, no boo boos? <laughs> so, yeah, as you can hear, they're chit chatting away. Somebody's saying no repeatedly. I'm not sure about that one. I think it's like a choir of no's actually right now. So that's it. It's been a very exhausting few days though for sure and I'll be glad when I can talk with Michael more and figure out what we're going to do with a few things to go from there. So I'll see everyone later. Bye. How about we say yes? I know, they say cocky. Are we at Connor School? Yeah. School, yep. This is one of our favorite places to be, is Connor School. Your biscuits? Last night, um, Michael's, um, some of the wives from his unit stopped by to say hi and see what all we can use. Um, this really cool biscuit dish. It's got chicken and all sorts of yummy stuff in it. And we, um, and we, uh, did fruit with it and some veggies and they're just hanging out now. They had their baths early. No, Dan, you can eat more. Is it good? It's a biscuit, Aurora. Oh, well, she's just crazy.